Hey guys, this is Sarah. So I just wanted to take you through through my weekly menu planning process. So I've got um, this document in Word and Google Docs, um, and it's basically like a six by four grid. And I basically plan six days of the week um, because we go out um, with my parents usually one night a week. Okay. And so I'll put um, what day it is and I'll put what we have that evening just so I know kind of what, how much time we have, um, I have to cook dinner and how much, you know, if it needs to be a quick dinner or if I need to grab something or otherwise. Um, I kind of uh, do, you know, just some general breakfast ideas, some repeats. It's not a big deal if these get mixed around. If I don't feel like having oatmeal on Thursday, we can do something else instead. Um, I do have this middle row here um, just to remind me to do some things. If, if I can prep to make dinner easier or if I need to take something out. And then this last row here is the actual dinners that we'll have. Um, the first thing that I do is I kind of take inventory of what we already have in um, the freezer and the fridge and the pantry. And so what, what I need to use goes on here first, okay? Um, and so, you know, this week we had some frozen pizzas in there that I had planned to use last week, but I'm going to use this week. Um, and so I'm just adding on to my grocery list a Caesar salad to go with that. Um, and then these are some of our other dinner ideas. And what I do is I keep a running list of dinner ideas. So, you know, and I categorize it um, based on like, you know, these are my chicken ideas. These are my meat ideas. Um, I've got my pasta just so I can kind of go through and, um, you know, I'm not having meat every night or I'm not having chicken every night. Um, but once I find a good, a good recipe, I will go ahead and add that hyperlink to my list. So, for example, I found this really good beef stroganoff recipe, and that is under my meat category. And I'll go ahead and put, you know, what I do with it. I usually do it with egg noodles, and um, I do the bag of mixed vegetables. You could do peas and carrots, but just so that I, I have that complete meal already. And I will go ahead and hyperlink that uh, recipe so that when it's time to make dinner or prepare it, I just click on it and I have the recipe right there. So I used to plan my menu on a notebook or um, I would, yeah, I would, but then I could never find the notebook when it was time for dinner. Um, but this way I am able to, you know, I'm, you know, I'm on my computer pretty much every day. And so I can just glance when I'm checking my email in the morning, I can see, okay, this is what we're having for dinner. Um, and it's, it's, it's been working for me for a couple of years now. Um, Let's see. Another thing I wanted to point out was I will add, you know, what lunchbox ideas, you know, we might want to have. But then after I have planned the whole week, I'll go through on my Walmart app. And that's that's what I do is I order I order everything online Um and so, and I have my phone here right next to my computer. I've got all the pop-ups, of course. But I will, and you can see my son has been, he adds stuff in his shopping cart as well. But my kids will ask me, okay, mom, did you put in your Walmart order yet? And I'll be like, nope, I usually put it in on Sunday night so I can pick it up on Monday morning. Um, and I'll ask, you know, my husband, I'll, um, you know, is there anything you need? And I'll ask my kids, is there anything you want for your lunches? 
And that is the time that I will add everything to the Walmart list. And so then I pick it up on Monday and we are stocked for the week. Um, I do not like to stockpile. I like to just get what we need for the week. Otherwise, I get overwhelmed. Um, and so that is my menu planning process for the week. I hope that helps.